heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and the same reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 142 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Richie Boy. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Doho Choi. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Right hand, no good. All right, he engages 
in a single collar tie here. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed. Whoa! He's hurt! He's hurt! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh! Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Over and over, he's getting to this clinch position. Single collar tie now. Nice leg kick land. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Gotta shore up the defense here. Three minutes remain in the run. Big body kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, the Superman punch lands. And they separate. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it stop throwing. Oh, that's a nice strike. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, nice. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. You don't know when that leg keeps coming. The left punch is true, now the right hand. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Good punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes up. Like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. I'm just gonna follow this one. Leg kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Again, back into this position. Punches blocked. Well, still plenty of time to go here in round one, but what a start for this man tonight. Aggressive to a fault, staying technical though, and very accurate with his strikes as well. Good start for him here tonight. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. He goes with the combination of punches to the head, potentially some concussive damage. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, straight right. Oh, huge right hand. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Beautiful body kicks. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Put his opponent on skates. Slip 
gets the punch. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Hook shot lands. Kick lands. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. All right, so he connects with another punch. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. In this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 35 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout and still I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that monster.